She says the cable guy attacked her in her own home, and tonight a local mom is shaken up while the technician is under arrest. With this CBS2 exclusive now, here's CBS2's Dave Carlin. I felt defenseless and helpless. This woman who does not want us to show her face regrets letting a cable guy inside her Tottenville home. It was Monday evening, and she figured it was okay because he was sent by Time Warner Cable. But she says he attacked her. He grabbed my uh, right arm with both hands, and he shoved me against my front door, and he held me there for a couple of seconds. I was screaming and yelling for him to get off me. She says the man snapped after the two argued whether the work order was just for phone or for phone and cable. By the time it was sorted out, the technician said the job needed to be rescheduled. The homeowner was irritated, told him to leave, but then tried to see his name tag. She says that's when he shoved her in front of her two-year-old daughter. I was in fear for my life and my daughter's life, and he's a technician. He has tools on him. I didn't know if he had uh, a weapon on him. He left when she threatened to call police. She called 911, and two blocks away, officers arrested 45-year-old Orville Johnson. He is charged with second-degree harassment. No sign of Johnson here at his Clifton, New Jersey home. In the driveway, this work van with cable equipment inside and a yellow safety vest over the front passenger seat. The homeowner says the yellow vest matches the one she saw the suspect wearing. Johnson was working as a subcontractor for Time Warner. They should take responsibility for their employees. A spokesman for Time Warner gave us this statement. We take any allegation of this kind seriously, and we're working with law enforcement as they investigate what happened. The technician is no longer performing TWC-related work. This woman says she will never let any stranger in her home, even for repair work, without her husband or a friend with her as backup. In Tottenville, Staten Island, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. Prosecutors say Johnson was charged with harassment and not assault because the victim has no visible injuries from their encounter.